If you would like to arrange the widgets evenly, then the best thing you can do is to use a layout manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the position of the widgets effectively by using the Flex Layout. Let's get started. Since Squareline Studio V1.2, you can find a layout option on all widgets. With this, you can arrange the children of a widget nicely and evenly vertically or horizontally. If a layout is enabled, you cannot position the widgets manually. In the Inspector Panel's Layout group, you can find the Flex Layout. When you choose it, the related options will appear. By default, the direction is set to Row. Let's add a few buttons to the screen. We can see that the buttons are placed next to each other. You can enable wrapping to automatically wrap two long rows. As I change the size of the buttons, you can see that their position is updated according to the layout settings. The Main Direction Align property sets positioning rules in the main direction, which is the horizontal direction in case of a row layout. By default, it is set to Start. Therefore, the buttons are placed next to each other on the left. You can change it to End, Center, and some more to distribute the buttons evenly on the whole width of the screen. The Cross Direction Align property sets widgets position in the perpendicular direction. For the row layout, it's the vertical direction. Using this, you can set the alignment of the widgets in the same track. The track settings adjust how to distribute the tracks. That is the rows in this case. By enabling the reverse option, the last widgets will be placed in the reverse order. That is started by the last widget. The distance of the buttons can be adjusted by column and row padding style properties of the parent. It's also possible to set the children's size to fill the remaining free space in their track. To do so, select a button and set its width unit to FR. FR stands for free unit, and it tells what amount to use from the free space proportionally to the other FR-sized children. For example, if there is only one FR-sized child and I set its width to 1 FR, it will take all the free space. If there are two children with one FR width, they will take 50-50% of the free space. However, if I change the second button's width to 2 FR, it will take 66% and the first button will take 33%. There are multiple flags related to children of parents with layout. The Flex in New Track flag forces to begin a new track with the given child. By enabling the Ignore Layout flag, the given child won't be affected by the layout and can be positioned freely. The floating flags make the child stay in place despite scrolling and also make it ignore the layout. The Flex layout can be used in a wide variety of cases. For example, to order list elements, arrange icons on a header, or to make the widget's size change responsively. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to get notified about the new ones.